Hi everyone, my name is Khalid and uh, welcome to my fourth tutorial or fifth, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, today I will be teaching everyone how to create uh, your very own um, custom shape using Adobe, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS3. Make sure Adobe Photoshop CS3 is open and click on File, New. Um, name this document. Uh, make sure width is set to 500 pixels, height is set, set to 500 pixels, and everything else is uh, its default setting. And then click on OK. Go to View, and then Show, and make sure Grid is checked. Uh, after that, on your keyboard, press and hold Control, Shift, M to create a new layer and name this layer DG and then go to your paint bucket tool and press D on your keyboard so that uh, the foreground is set to black and the background is set to white then choose your pen tool and make sure you have these settings selected um, your background is set to white. You can uh, change this by pressing the X button on your keyboard and make sure shape layer is selected, pen tool is selected. Make sure pen uh, options is set to uh, rubber band, rubber band is checked, and auto add delete is checked. And also, create new shape layer is checked for style. Make sure style is set to uh, none, and the color is set to white. Then just draw out a shape, and I'm going to sh uh, draw draw out a uh, top of a content box that you use when you're creating your own um, website template. There we go. I uh, have my newly shape made, and in the layers palette, your shape one above the uh, BG black BG layer. The next thing I want to do is click on edit, click on define custom shape, and then name the shape. Click on OK to accept. And then after that, we want to choose the custom shape tool. And then, as you can see, we have all sorts of custom shapes. Most of these shapes uh, have uh, come with Adobe Photoshop CS3. And as you can see, previously I've I've tried to uh, make five other recordings, but they didn't come out. As good as, as good as I as I wanted them to, so I'm going to choose top content box custom shape uh, layer that I just or the shape that I just made, and then just uh, left click and there you have it. it. You have your newly made custom shape. Um, thank you so much for watching um, and have a great day. Bye bye.